everyone. Welcome to We Met Wirework. I'm Laura and if you're looking for inspiration to make some fun whimsical wire crafts you come to the right place. Now my goal here is to inspire you but I suggest you add your own special flair and touches to any of the projects that I share here with you. I simply ask that if you enjoy my content please give me a subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when I have new content to share with you today. All right, so let's get started as I show you how to make one of these really beautiful, very, very easy to make beaded bracelets. And apparently stacking bracelets has become a thing again. So don't hesitate to throw in some of the other bracelets that I've made with some of my other projects. All right, so let's get to it. So the materials I'm using today is a really great little pair of flush cutters. We have some flat nose pliers here and then we just have a toothless pair of jewelry pliers. And when you're working with really soft wires or small gauge wires, then it's always a good idea to use tools that don't have teeth in them as the teeth can snap the wire off or scar it if it's a if it's a, a softer wire such as an aluminum and uh, you know so uh, the toothless tools are better for this kind of a project. Now I have a 30 gauge wire here and I have a 20 gauge wire as well as some small beads and these ones are a little bit larger than your typical seed beads. These ones are a 4 or a 5 millimeter bead here so a little bit larger for this project. Alright so let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is cut our 20 gauge wire and this is going to create the framework of our bracelet and I like to cut a substantial length uh, by that I mean considerably more than we're likely to use for the project and I'm just going to kind of wing it as far as sizing goes today and uh, but I'll give you an idea once we start the project how to go about figuring out the sizing for these so we are going to cut that's 12 inches is about 14 inches of our 20 gauge wire so we're going to snip that off and we need three of these all right so we can just measure by lining up the pieces of the wire rather than depending solely on our ruler which is perfectly fine but this works well for me. So pulling it to its full length. Okay, so we got three of those at 14 inches. So now we are going to introduce our 30 gauge wire and we want three times that length okay so whatever length that you decide to go with you want this 30 gauge wire to be three times as long so it's about there now instead of measuring it you know three times along that length of wire I've just bent it at the length of the wire so 14 inches Right, so just bent it and then I measure this length three times. Now I do want to go back in and, and um, give myself the full length. Sometimes you get buckling in your wire as you pull it and most of the time it won't make a difference but sometimes just that little bit can. All right, I've measured that three times. So once again, these were 14 inches long, the three of them at 20 gauge. And then we have three pieces that, pardon me, one piece that is three times as long as those. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to stretch it out to its full length. 
And sometimes with these finer wires, when you bend them like that, you can get a bit of a kink. So straighten this out slowly and carefully, feeling for any spots that might, might have kinked up. And then we want to match up the ends and fold it in half. All right, so we've got that, that loop here now. All right, so now taking our 20 gauge again, we want to measure about two inches on the end. So right about there. And then grasping these just below that point with our flat nose pliers. And these, yeah, I was going to say these might just shift around on you a bit. So let's measure that again. And about there. Okay, grasping them firmly. We got a rogue, rogue wire here, so I'm just going to grab. Okay, now I'll grab it there where it twisted it a little bit. And you want to twist it pretty much all the way to the end, trying to maintain a nice twist with all your wires. Ouch. Watch your fingers. Okay, so this is what we have now. All right. So we've twisted it, and it's ended up being just a little bit shorter than the two inches, and that is okay too. And we did have one wire that was a little bit shorter than the other, and which all that tells you is that it's just wrapped a little bit tighter through this twist here. No biggie. So once I said, this is going to be the end of our bracelet. All right, so now we're going to take our 30 gauge wire, and we're going to pop this part that we just wrapped around that. And we want to give it a couple of wraps in both directions at the end of that twist that we just did. So this is what it looks like. You've got three wires protruding this way. Those are your 20 gauge. And then you've got the two wires on either side which is your 30 gauge wire. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll here. So what we start off with here is, I'll just start off with popping one bead on here, uh, but once you're actually comfortable with this weave, then certainly feel free to uh, add multiple beads. Okay. So here we have our three 20 gauge wires and we have strung one bead on the center wire. So then we're going to just take and we're going to fold both sides down. But we do want to make sure that our bead is captured in between these two wires as firmly as possible it is always best. And you'll figure out what works best for you as the, or as the bracelet progresses. So I'm going to take the wire on the right hand side. I'm right handed so that just works for me. And I'm going to bring that wire underneath the first two wires. So the one on the right and then the center one. And I'm going to pull it up nice and snug against that bead. All right, so that secured it from one side. Now I'm going to take my second 30 gauge piece of wire and I went underneath so you can see, right? So the wire originates here and I've taken it underneath those two, so the center one and then the left hand side one and I pulled it around and pulled it across to the wire on the left. All right, so now that bead is secured in there. 
um, once we add a couple more, it'll really be secure. So we'll pop another bead on here, repeating what we did the first time. So taking the wire on the right hand side, I'm going to put it underneath the right hand wire and the center wire, coming up between the center wire and the left. Okay, and I'm going to pull it around and just rest it on top of the right wire. So now it's wrapped around the bead. All right, repeating that step, take the left hand wire, tuck it up underneath the, sorry, keep your wires as straight as possible. So now that wire has come up from this side underneath the left hand wire and the center wire. Coming up through the center of those and then fold it back across your left hand wire. So now you have two beads secured and as you can see there's, there's really no movement in those. Now if you do a couple of beads, you just have to hold them both securely at the same time. So I'm taking my right hand wire, I'm popping it underneath both the right and the center wire, I'm pulling it around and then back across the right hand wire. And I need to back up because I didn't get it between those two beads, right? So you've got to make sure that you're secur securing each one. All right, left hand bead, left hand wire comes up between the left hand and the center wire. And we want to make sure that it comes across in between those two beads that are on there, right? And you see that one just kind of popped up, right? Uh, it's not because I wasn't securing the entire piece. All right, so now that third bead is nice and secure. And this was the fourth one, so I have popped the two of them on here at the same time. So I would recommend if you're just just learning how to do this, and don't understand the nature of the beads and how they slide around and pop off all over the place, take on a life of their own, then just do one bead at a time. So I came up through these two wires and now I'm across on the right hand side again. Same thing, I'm going to take the left hand wire, pop it up so that the left and the right, pardon me, the left and the central wire and wrap it back across the left hand side. So that's what we do until we get the length that we need to decide what length that we need for our bracelet. So now I have reached the end of my bracelet. So for the length that, that I want it to be and when you are measuring for yourself or anybody else what you want to do is you want to measure the actual wrist part and you want to just take that sometimes it can take a little finagling sometimes you want somebody else's help and you just find that start point and you're looking at probably wanting it about an inch on the end. Okay, so my wrist is about eight inches and so this is going to be plenty long for that, plenty long for my wrist. Alternately, you could take and you could use a piece of string or a piece of yarn uh, or even a, another piece of wire. Okay, so now we've gotten to the end here and I want to just take those wires. 
that we just wrapped and I'm going to wrap them around the center wire just to finish it off here and just do a couple of wraps on that one just pulling it nice and tight and it finishes it off tacks your beads in place so that they're not slipping too far up and you just want to make sure that those ends are tucked away in there so that's one side and I will snip that off in there and then we'll do the same thing with the second side that actually ended up being a little bit long there we go that's better okay so then same thing we take this one and we bring it around finishing off fastening that bead in place okay and we want to wrap it around where we did with the first one and just a couple wraps is fine that's all it's all it's going to take to finish it off make sure those ends are pressed flat okay awesome all right so now well, I can still feel some pokey bits in there right, I think I'll just snip that one a little bit closer there. Oh, there we go perfect okay so now we're going to leave this wire up and we're going to cross two of them on the back and then we're just going to start to just start to wrap those and you see we measured 14 inches and there's tons of wire left over so that's awesome okay so that's probably about as far as I'm going to wrap that try and get a nice even even wrap and you can always introduce your pliers and use them to twist as well okay so on this side we had wrapped all of them here so what we're going to do is we're going to just take one of them and that was just to kind of get it out of the way so that we didn't have a uh, random wire sticking out to snag on okay so now we're bringing this over here doesn't matter that it's not completely straight but we do want to try and keep the twists on either side of our bracelet relatively uniform that looks pretty good all right now this side I think we're going to make our just our loop for the clasp to go into so we're going to take this and you can just eyeball this and we're just going to pull it forming a loop like so you can make it a little bit smaller you can introduce some round nose pliers uh, we can do that once this is actually formed if we like and then we're just going to give it a little bit of a bend okay so you see where I'm going with that a bit of a bend like that which is almost parallel to where the beads ended and this one sits a little bit too high so we're going to unwrap it one more time and then this one we're going to snip the wire off right about here don't want to cut it off up here somewhere um, because you do stand the chance of this not being tacked in well enough and then the the loop pulling loose okay so just leave it a little bit of a tail and we can trim this again if it's uh, there's any pokey bits once our project is done so we want to find oh, it's all tweaking just little bits of adjusting here and there so now I'm just taking that wire that we had unwrapped from the wires that we 
wrapped at the very beginning. And just get them wrapped in there. Okay, and now I think that's going to need a bit of a trim still. So we'll just go in and very carefully snip off any of those ends that are going to be problematic. And by that I mean problematic because um, they can snag on your clothes, they can snag on your on your skin, uh, which makes it quite uncomfortable. And then and then you don't want to wear it, right? You don't want to wear your pair of, um, piece of jewelry. So what I did here is I brought in a pair of bail making pliers and this is just going to help us get that nice round see how I just kind of did that I just kind of worked it in so yes that helped us get our nice round link here all right so now we're going to do more or less the same thing on this side except we want this this side to be a hook okay so or a, or a cloth so so you can use your ruler <clears throat> if you like I generally just try and eyeball this stuff but uh, that's cool whatever works for you all right so I do want it to be fairly substantial so what we're going to do is we're going to measure an inch probably about a, an inch and a quarter and we'll just give it a bend like that and we can kind of test fit this so making it parallel here we can just create you can see here we can just kind of create the hook that is going to make our make our clasp and I think that's plenty long enough okay so I did our inch and a quarter and we want to make this, give it a very low profile, a very tight profile, if you will. Okay, once again, we're going to snip this off just a little bit longer than what the, uh, where, where the twist ends, or the twist began. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just give that a little bit of a snip there. And then we're going to take this wire, which was our third wire, right, or our core wire when we were making the bracelet, and we're going to take it and we're just going to start to wrap, wrap around that twist that is going to make our, make our hook, our clasp. Okay, so now I would say rather than ending this off directly on the bottom, maybe end it off a bit to the bit to the side. Okay, give it a nice close snip, and then you want to press to that flat on your finger along it. Make sure there's no no bits that are making it an, an uncomfortable to wear and then we can go in and create that curve now you can do this by hand uh, heck you could use anything from a, a knitting needle to a crochet hook to a pencil anything that has that circular has that circular shape to it Okay, and there's our beautiful bracelet. And you can squeeze that shut a little bit, make it a little, yeah, and that might be just a little bit too much. So we'll open that up again, just a titch, and there we go. That is perfect. Excellent. So thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate you popping by and spending some time with me. And all I ask is if you enjoyed the videos to please give me a subscribe by hitting that little arrow in the right hand corner of your screen. So for now, this is Laura with We Met Wirework. I appreciate you being here and I hope you have a fantastic day. Talk to you soon.